Hi everybody, it's Rob here from Plymouth Music Zone. Hope you're well, hope everything's good. Uh, this week is Tree Week, so I thought I would take the opportunity to talk a little bit about the beautiful keys of this instrument behind me. This is a balafon, or essentially a xylophone. So the, the tree is the Shea tree, and it's interesting because it has a particular kind of caterpillar that lives in it, which you, which is commonly eaten, and you can make a nice sandwich out of it, apparently. Uh, you can also get butter from it. It's also endangered, so I mean, it's worth always um, bearing in mind with instruments about the sustainability. Um, so, you know, if you were going to make a, a balafon, perhaps you could make it out of uh, sustainable wood or kind of fake wood, we you know. Um, lots to think about there. Uh, but yeah, this instrument is quite old. This is one uh, from Dartington, where I went to university. And uh, yeah, I learned this piece of music that I'd like to share today. I learned this piece called The Battle of Incinci. So although this, this instrument was made in Ghana, the Battle of Incinci is music from Uganda, as transcribed by Peter Cook. The musical style uh, that the Battle of Incinci is in is, is uh, I think, remarkably a uh, simple but effective way you have two melodies that are played in the gaps between each other. They, they, they interlock. So one person is just playing on the beat like that and the other person plays their melody. And then between the two players, you end up with a kind of joint melody. So you can take two simple things, put them together and make something far more complicated. And then there are other parts too, which fit over the top, which I will demonstrate. Oh, but yeah, let's hear this instrument. Okay, so we have um, two patterns to learn, or to demonstrate, like if you want to play this at home, if you've got something you could, uh, perhaps you, you know your instrument well enough to, to play the pentatonic scale and translate this into that, or you could find um, milk bottles and tune them to five notes, um, or just take it all in and see what you make of it, but yeah. Okay, so um, our first part goes like this. Um, by the way, the there should be buzzing. You should imagine a, uh, there's usually a, like a resonator. There's usually resonators on on the gourds underneath. That yeah, this this instrument is partway being uh, through partway through being refurbished, so it doesn't have the buzzers on at the moment. Um, but yes, uh, there would be buzzing. It sounds kind of cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, that that first part. Okay, um, so it's just played completely straight um, on the beat, and then the next part plays in the gaps, and it goes like this. That's it. Uh, and then you combine the two, and you get this. And then on top of that, uh, what, they, what they do is uh, the cumulative pattern of the two players, they take the, the, the notes that happen on these two bars and a, th a third player will play them up there. And you can put them all together, all three parts, and you get, uh, get this. enjoyed hearing that. Um, it's one of my favourite all-time pieces, I think, and 
there's there's loads more to it than what I've showed here as well. This is just the, the tip of the iceberg, but fantastic music here. Uh, see you all next time. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.